Hi guys, it's me again, Jubu, on another episode of Eh What That. Actually, OMG What That. I'm here at Kapiolani Park. Uh, this time, actually all the time, with Mr. Poke smoking right now in the back. Uh, we're gonna explore Kapiolani Park. That's right. You guys didn't even know it was haunted, huh? Anyway, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna explore here. I'm gonna start off with going on the Diamond Head side of uh, Kapiolani Park. Uh, that's actually where I park. But yeah. Oh, let me park my uh, lock my car first. Yeah. The key here is to lock your car. No? Wait, you see something already? What's that? Anyway, that's Poke. Yeah, this is the one. Anyway, history here is this is one of the actually is the largest park on Oahu. Uh, it has tennis courts, it actually has a pavilion, and the shell. <laughs> And uh, right next to it is actually the zoo too. So, of course they cut the grass. Why wouldn't they cut the grass? Then what? But they don't clean up the mess. No, that turns into mulch. That's why. Alright guys, so there's uh, a few things we're going to end up doing tonight. Um, other than just looking around, I want to try out the, a brand new app. There's a brand new app I also got on here. That might help on our future things. also want to try out the... Look at it guys. We are in the middle of nowhere. Because, uh, I don't know, we're in the right spot. Is there any wires or anything? Like no. Cool? We're in the right spot though. Think yeah. We are in the right spot. All right, his K2 is going off. I'm going to pull up mine too. Yeah. It goes off too, then uh, we're in the right spot. You're getting worse. It's getting worse. You guys heard that? All right, turning on the K2. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, guys. Well, we're already starting to see signs. And we're fairly new. We're in the middle of the um, the big field, which is which is uh basically the supposed area that's supposed to be haunted yeah his is going crazy too actually let's double check and double check the, the with the other goss See how bad this is. Oh, we're red already. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're in red already, guys. This is nuts. This is, this is nuts. We're in the middle of a field. Mind you, this used to be a uh, 
a, a battlefield. See? I think we should park. Do you think so? Oh, the groundskeeper is coming. The groundskeepers are coming. Yeah, that's weird, guys. <laughs> One of those rare times when the K2s are actually working. So, just so, just for proof, mine's is going off also. It's going off pretty good. Yeah. And both of them are like this right now. And it's not because I have so much lights on. <laughs> Here, just so that you guys can see that it's not my lights that's causing these. Okay, this is how it looks like without any of my lights. And this is what the K2 is reading right now. It's basically hitting red. And we are only in the middle of the field. We're spiked in the middle of the field. And we haven't even started anything. <laughs> well, it is said that there are a lot of paranormal things that happen here. We are here at, uh, I'd say, maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock right now. And based on what we're seeing right now and all that, this is probably a good night. Just to give you an idea of, uh, that's right there. But, no, we're gonna walk through the thing and then, uh, uh, yeah, let's walk to the shell because uh, it looks like people are still at the tennis courts. That is said, anyway, at the Waikiki shell, for those of you who do not know about the, the issues. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's uh, Babu's. Okay. <laughs> We're headed to the Waikiki shell and uh, holy shit, it's wet. I'm following Poke and of course Poke leads us to the freaking wet side again. Anyway, so that's Poke. Can we not walk in the sprinklers? Yeah, sprinklers. <coughs> yeah. So we're walking to the Waikiki Shell. Anyway, supposedly the story of that Waikiki Shell here is when we're not wanted or whenever people are not wanted anywhere. Basically, you will see um, leaves or like the wall. There's a fence that's there and a bush. Well, the bush lines the fence. And supposedly, if something's happening um, in a calm, like everything would be calm, but something would end up causing it to shake. Like, you know, that kind of shake. We're gonna see if we can see that shaking. Anyway, I don't have a lot of power, so I'll turn you on when I get there. We're at the shell. Outside the shell, not in the shell. We're not gonna be doing something stupid. 
and climbing over the, the walls even though Poké wants to. <laughs> yeah. This is the outside of the shell. We're in the back side. You want to walk around one time? Just walk around, see what we can get. We're just gonna truck around. See how this is, how... No Violators will be prosecuted. That's if we go inside. <laughs> See, right there, Poké being Poké again, trying to figure out how to get in there. But uh, this is the shell parking lot, right here. Hey, Poké, Poké, try to look underground. Next time when you make doodoo, <laughs> You pick up yourself, yeah? Ew, some pake. Pake. <laughs> Don't leave your, 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 your droppings all over the place. Ew. Smell like a pake. Anyway, this is the shell. That's the bleachers. Is the thing still going on? Yep. Just so you guys know. It is. Oh, mine's. Mine's dropped. Mine's has, has the second green already. Maybe they need us to be in the middle of the field. We'll go back over there. Oh, what's happening over here? What you guys filming? You guys filming over here? What are you guys doing over here? Oh, oh, Magnum PI. When are you guys gonna film tomorrow? Oh, no, they, they're, they're moving. No, they're moving everything. I guess they're going somewhere else. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah was, I don't know where they were filming. We just watch the. We just watch the trailer. Oh, and this is like where you guys where they make the cuts and all that kind of oh. stuff. Yeah. You don't know. I don't know where they were filming. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, we just worked with the security. Oh, uh, they don't but, tell you what's going on. But uh, now the new man, the master guy, Jay. Yeah, yeah. He was here earlier. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, and then he left. Yeah. The drive one. Move on. <laughs> Wait, where you guys are at the aquarium? No, we on the we on the backside. Uh, kind of shooting for YouTube on. Uh, oh, YouTube. Like uh, certain things that just before the October come, all the ghost stories and all oh, that. Oh, cool, so. cool. Can you get no, no, that's expensive. Oh, that's like the big kind. You know that the, the metal with your cappy. Yeah. That's the big one. Hi yeah. right, guys, we're back. Uh, actually, I chose to not go all the way around because it's taking too long and it's tired. So I'm being panty right now. Anyway, we're back in the location that we're gonna go. We're gonna see what we can do for like 30 minutes. Uh, it looks like uh, this is where they stage uh, Magnum PI. I yeah. know we're not supposed to really film it. That's Magnum PI guys. They're doing their thing over here at night. Uh, but yeah, anyway. We're gonna be over there, but for now, uh, we could probably just stuff as we catch our breath. I sure, I wish I brought my soda. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Remember that people. The best medicine is soda. <laughs> anyway, we're at the the shell. And like I said, uh anyway the story of this location originally was this is the beginning part of uh the Battle of New Uwanu. For those of you who don't know what the Battle of New Uwanu was all about. Um, this is where Kamehameha had landed and instituted the first battle of the Battle of Nuwanu. Basically, this is where he he brought his cannons in. Cheated. Yeah, to go and uh, fight the kings of Oahu. Anyway, 
this location has a few odd parts uh, first one here is the shell I do not know why here at the shell there's a bunch of weird things that happen but it is said that on calm nights when everything is calm and collect something happens at the fence line of the shell the back side of the shell where everybody sits anyway it is said that when you're uh, when when you're here uh, you'll see rustling at the the tree line and the tree line we not the bush line where the where the where the fences uh, right now hopefully you guys can see that I think you guys can it's right behind us is the back side of the shell um, we're not in the area that we're supposedly is haunted but when you do see the rustling the shaking of the bush it is assumed that there's somebody behind and then when you go to look you do not see anybody rustling um, I don't know why it does that uh, if it happens tonight, then it happens tonight. Um, we come here to actually observe and see if anything does happen during that time. Uh, Poke, as usual, is smoking. His, his stuff is off. But mine's still on, and that's right. We're at mid. So, we're in the mid. I, I'm assuming they'd rather have us in the middle of the field that's where we were earlier when we got that red spike um, but it is assumed before we even do that uh, let's just see since we're already at the shell see what we can see uh, hopefully we do see something or we record something back to that spot originally and uh, see if we can catch something or see something or whatever I'm gonna turn on the that that ghost speaking app that I have and see if we can get it, some kind of communication at the shell all right I'll be back when we're actually in that spot all right thanks guys Hi guys, Juby here. Okay, there. Where are the tennis courts? Uh, we ended up kind of relocating primarily because of uh, the homeless guy. I, uh, I don't know. Okay says it's a homeless guy. I think it's uh, the groundskeeper. But uh, we're gonna come in over here because it's lit. Plus, uh, I kind of need a breather because it's uh, kind of hot. I just took a shower and I feel like I freaking. <laughs> anyway, um, we are at uh, the Kapiolani tennis courts. Um, it's pretty lit right now because it's still kind of early. Um, the story over here is, is supposedly a haunted security guy, a uh, security guard that died a long time ago. He still walks the the ground. Basically. The situation here is if you do see him and you're here, uh, it is said that uh, it's like an omen that something bad is going to happen. So hopefully we don't, uh, you know, we don't see the guy. But if you do, make sure you follow him to wherever because he's trying to lead you to where you need to go. Anyway, the story is, once you start following him, as you get further away from the courts, he disappears. At which point, it's a good idea, like it's a kind of like a good thing that he disappears because 
he's supposed to be protecting you but he's an angry spirit just so you guys know so don't screw around with the guy uh, he's mad yeah he's mad um, how come he's mad uh, I don't know maybe because Pokey never gave him the pocket that he was on <laughs> anyway anyway that's the story of the Kapiolani uh, tennis courts um, it's a calm place Right now, what's the what's the thing is saying? Your 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 2K. What's the location? It's totally green. We have nothing. Um, you're probably gonna sit here for another maybe what 10 minutes. See if anything happens. And by the way. You people over there in Pokey side, tell him to cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling them to cut his hair. But he not like vision. Yeah, he too sexy. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to start the ghost app. Uh, for those of you who's wondering what kind of app this is, it's called Ghost Talk. Uh, you can get it basically on... Uh, the what you can get it on the the iTunes thing it's a fad uh, I don't know if it's actually really see it says oh sad another Dutch mean saves defense this is more I don't know it's uh. wall animal <laughs> I'm, I'm holding it down now so that the it's like the obvious. For those of you who know what an ovulus is, yeah. it has a library of words and it listens to all the multi channels just like a spirit box. The only difference is it attunes to a certain word. So the brighter the word, mm -hmm. that's more, that's almost guarantee that's what he sees. Yeah. Okay. The less the word colored, it means that's less likely what was said. So right now it's into wall. Those are the two main words that it said on the way here. So we'll try this again. What do you do? Maybe. Anyone wants to speak to us right now? Uh, I can see somebody tried speaking to us earlier. Currently right now, the EMF is actually really low in here too. According to the... It has its own EMF... Uh, reading also guys so according to this it's green I got no response you want to try Edgar? why don't you ask something he might respond to you that's it ask it You know, same. I'm ducky too, same. Mm -hmm. We're at pure green. green. So, I'm assuming there's not nothing here. Just green. Just green brown. Yeah, like nothing's here. So, uh, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna end the session here at the tennis courts. I don't think we'll find anything today. Maybe oh, yeah. we have more sign in the middle of the field. So. We'll go there right after we do the what do you call the shell. All right, all right. We'll catch you guys then. <coughs> this is the fence, the fence line. Supposedly here you're supposed to hear night. Well, what you're supposed to see here is night marchers other stuff uh, like all things you're supposed to hear the night marcher conch shells the drumming sun pretty uh, calm night
spirit box is saying something, but we are next to the light. Anyone here that wants to talk to us today? Mind you, there is a uh, light pole right behind us. So if we go further down, we'll see it change, hopefully. Yeah, the K2 is going crazy, guys. I don't know why it's going crazy, other than the fact that we have the light poles. Huh? Yeah, okay, I know. So we're going to head down to the middle. Um, it looks like the shell isn't that active tonight. Nor is the... There you go. Nor is the... The, the basketball or the tennis courts. The, but they just turned it off, so I'm assuming it's going to be turned off over there soon anyway looks like we got a better result in the middle of the field so we're gonna go in the middle of the field there is still a few locations two locations we haven't gone to yet which is the the um, hail the two hails that was breaking broken down all right guys we're gonna set up so we'll see what's going on all right guys we're back we're gonna set up uh basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that oculus or that ghost talk app see what saw see how it works in regards to what's going on we're in the middle of the field right now uh this is where the big battle of the first battle of uh, New Wano started. This is where Oahu started losing. The Oahu king started losing his uh, his chance, and he had to retreat back towards Waikiki so that uh, they can set. Supposedly, they landed at Queens Beach, and the story is when the cannon made it on the ground the king of Oahu had to fall back and supposedly he fell back into Waikiki and further back into what we considered is downtown uh, Ala Park area which is at the base of Nu'uanu basically um, just to give you a heads up we are at well we're basically at spiking at red So we are kind of like I, I. There is no reason why we should be spiking at red in the middle of the field. There's nothing here around here. There's not even lights. Did you hear that? You didn't hear that, Edgar? No. Okay. What I just heard, just so you know, it sounded like somebody is walking this way. You know how? That, that exact sound coming this way from this corner um, I don't know if it's just sounds from further down but anyway we'll do the ghost app right now all right once again uh, if you guys are interested this is the ghost talk app uh, I got it on uh, the YouTube store or whatever the I what I I app app I iTunes whatever <laughs> But uh, it was intriguing. Uh, I actually seen uh, somebody use this on YouTube, so I figured if it's free, then you, why not? You know, try to see if uh, we can catch anything. But currently, right now, it has. Just so you guys know, it has its own EMF, which is that little thing that we are using, and it's not saying anything. It's at 0.38, which is half. It's like in green. So anyway, we can start this. Hi, aloha, uh, this is Jubu, anybody 
want to conversate with us today uh, we are open to feeling something it's a nice full uh, nice clear night uh, there is this machine right in front of us that you could use to talk to us uh, it has its own library so if you'd like to talk to us feel free uh, we will ask questions and see what happens uh, please first off acknowledge if you're around Just for the just for you guys over there, I don't know if Poki has his camera on, his audience on or not. But uh, this is not the first time I'm actually hearing what seems sounds like somebody coming over here. Mind you, this is our uh, this is the Battle of Nuwana. I'm assuming this location is like how the hauntings are happening at Gettysburg and Antietam, where the battle is being replayed over and over again, even if we don't see it. They're still replaying it over and over again. So I don't know if you might get the like intelligible responses because it, I think this is what most investigators. We're not investigators. Just to clarify that, we're just trying to um, witness stuff. But uh, some investigators probably would call this a uh, residual haunting or where the haunting gets replayed over and over again at night because of all of the blood and turmoil that happened I'm getting nothing you want to try hold it so that you're not recording your voice <laughs> assuming it's probably because it's this free. no well, <laughs> yes it's free <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm pretty much assuming because it's a reoccurring you know the battle is just reoccurring they're just yeah they're just gonna keep uh, replaying the battle over and over again so I'm gonna pull out the static static cam, see if we can catch anything. Turning this off because uh, it's not re not showing anything. Oh. I'm gonna let Edgar decide which which way should I film. This way, right? That's what I thought. Okay, we're just taking shots. He's taking shots too. something behind me? No. Sure? Yeah. Try this again. This time I'm not going to aim. Sorry guys, I think I got something. That could be a bug, but I caught. caught something no this yeah the line yeah that's a, that's a flying thing. oh that's one of those flying yeah. things and I saw it and like oh shit <laughs> here I'll show you what I got if I, for, if 
if I remember how they do this. Hmm. Oh, that's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's nothing. That's nothing. I think this is the first picture. Yeah. Remember the picture I, I didn't get? What's that? The one behind you? Yeah. No, the one right here. Yeah. Orb. We got another orb, guys. I don't want to be the only one getting orbs. That's why I want him to get it. Hey, you, you're just better than mine. So, and it caught something on this side, which means where the noises are I've been hearing. So, okay, and that's the only one. And the hand. This is a hand, guys. <laughs> Just so in case somebody goes, holy fuck, there's the light. There's the light. Go to the light. Go to the light. No, this is a hand. A hand caught in a flash. But uh, I'll, I'll post that one picture. We're going to take more pictures of, as we go go tonight. Um, but uh, here, I know you've been... I don't know. I totally forgot I had this. See, I keep forgetting I keep carrying these things and I don't even remember. Backwards. Nope, right way. Just so you guys know, don't be, bring equipment that the battery is already drained. <laughs> but uh, we're in the middle of the field and we're catching stuff on our K2, but there is no obvious haunting per se. I think what we have here at Kapilani Park is more of a, like a residual I always keep hearing it behind me. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hopefully you guys have. I'm not, the thing's not really hooked on to the... Yeah, you heard that too. Yeah. But it's towards the car, so we don't know if it's... Yeah, Could have been the hotel. But, um... Yeah. It's it's pretty weird, um, but like I said, my hypothesis to Kapiolani Park, it is one of the more haunted places on this island. Um, though I do believe this is more of a residual type of haunting where they replay the scene over and over again. So the kind of talking to us. See, I heard it over there. You you can hear when I'm yeah, yeah. hearing, right? This is what's gonna if somebody here, watch. Well, I know my light is pretty strong. I got it in the high setting right now. Yeah, so based on my thoughts, Kapiolani Park, I, I can see this. We've already had uh, a few inklings that there are something here. Uh, other paranormal investigators in Hawaii has seen stuff in the past here. No, because I, I, I keep thinking, no, I keep thinking somebody's going to my car. Because we can see the car from here. Yeah. It's just that I, I thought the I thought somebody was just somebody just walking this way. But um, yeah, um, I think this is more of a reenactment type haunting, where they keep playing 
uh, like they keep fighting the scene over and over again like in Gettysburg I don't know if you've seen some of the the photographs and videos at Gettysburg but uh, the orbs there at Gettysburg are actually not really orbs um, if you look carefully at these orbs you see on these videos it's like imagine having the sun shine on the soldiers as they're walking and it only shows the shine instead of showing the, the soldiers I think this is more of a residual what do you think Mr. Edgar? it's a nice night there's nothing here and for those of you who think we're crazy about doing this at night and all that kind of thing eh, sometimes you get a better perspective at night just remember that oh that, that was the light but uh how do you feel mr Edgar? Uh, i don't i feel okay too what i think i we, we should go is go to uh I don't know where the the I think the the hail block is over there somewhere. Is it, is it the aquarium? Yeah, that's the aquarium. Yeah, it's one of the stones over there. Is it? Not only is it. Is uh, uh, is by the? Mm -hmm. You want to go walk by the 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 area over there? See what's going on. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna relocate to another location. Um, yeah. Uh, the only evidence we can have, I have we have a few evidence shots here already. Um, you'll see it on on the on on YouTube when we get this posted. Um, we also have uh, the K2s as semi witness that there's something here. I still don't understand why we have K2 uh, activity here in the middle of the field when there's no electronics anywhere. But we're gonna go down to the thing. I'll check that place out. Then we'll check out the the fountain area where the supposed blood hail is supposed to be too all right see you then all right guys here's the marker i was talking about right now this marker supposedly stands on the spot where the hay one of the hayals used to be in this location And for those of you who can hear what you're hearing, I do not believe that's a uh, night march of drums. <laughs> you hear that too, right, Edgar? But that's the hotel. But uh, here's the marker that's, this is a marker I do believe marks the heiau, the agricultural heiau that was over here. Um, there is another heiau in this location um which was a blood hail and i do believe it's by the it's marked by the 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 sorry as we're gonna do the same thing too sound traveling but uh, I do believe the the blood hay out is marked by the fountain uh, I don't know if you know about the fountain do you know about the fountain Mr. Edgar no. that's here no. oh the white fountain All back, yeah. yes so All you do know All back, yeah. so you know you know about it then no, that's where the the blood hay was supposed to be. And supposedly this blood hay was established when during the Battle of New Uwanu, um, after the King of Oahu had pulled out of the location, the Kamehameha had created this hay to set up uh, like a victory victory thing just before they went to follow follow up on trying to destroy the rest of the other guys so they created this place to put the bodies and all that that were killed here during the first battle of the battle of Nuuanu uh, before they went into Kalihi and uh, into 
Waikiki. So we're gonna head there now. Oh, your light is blinding me, man. <laughs> it's blinding me by the light. But uh, we'll 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 we'll, we'll get there when uh I get there. All right, guys. Ooh, this is a hot night. Anyway, guys, we made it to where I thought was the Blood Heal. Uh, now there's nothing here. Um, I don't know what what happened and all that kind of stuff, but it looks like uh, they took it away, and uh, it's pretty much gone. Uh, Anyway, just so that you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see all this. But it should be all on the end of Kapiolani Park. Uh, there used to be a fountain back here. And it's no longer around. Now all you see is uh, a big field with the same trees around. Because uh, I do believe, if I remember correctly, the fountain was located either where Poki is right now or right here is there like some sort of stuff over there what big white mist you know this is ironwood yeah see this yeah, it was right here. Well, it's ironwood, and based on what we can see, here's the storm drain. So the the fountain used to be right here, and it's no longer here. So. <laughs> but yeah it's all the way on the far end and this is supposed to be the blood hail uh like i was saying earlier um this was Anyway, uh, just so you know, this, I kind of got technical difficulties again, as usual, because uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Huh? White lady? There's a lot of white ladies, by the way, in Waikiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm correct. Anyway, uh, this used to be the... <laughs> this used to be uh, where the blood hay is, where the fountain used to be. It's the fountain's not here anymore. Um, but uh, it is said that when the Battle of Nuuanu started and the king of the king of Oahu, the Lee of Oahu, ended up retreating into Waikiki, maybe a day or two, the priestess of Kamehameha had come here and made this a consecrated ground for all those that died in this battle. They brought their bodies here and supposedly this is where they put the bodies. Like they, they didn't bury the bodies, but this is where they kept the bodies. And it eventually turned into a Luakini heiau after that. But uh, I don't see it anymore. I don't see uh, the fountain or anything in regards to any signs of what used to be here it's just only thing that's here is a big hole in the ground that's a storm drain and i'm assuming that's where the fountain used to be yeah could have been the middle where the, the water goes you know so anyway yeah he, he's seen a big white mist on the way here 
but this is uh this is the end of Kapiolani Boulevard at Kapiolani Park it's actually pretty far once you reach the ironwood trees that's uh the end Interested? You see the street right here, guys? MTV. Uh, what's that? The, the MTV where they filmed the house, the house thing. That's the street. Yeah, make us look bad. And all that. But that's the road. That's the road. So uh, I I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna close the this session of uh, OMG what that sorry not that appealing as the Kukan and lo local one but it's a pretty good hike I gotta take a bath when I get home because uh, I've been sweating a lot but uh, stay tuned for another episode of OMG what that or what that we gotta say it right anyway. See ya guys.